Good evening YouTube, this is Neonexus here with a Tech for Talk Tuesday for Team Wasp on UK. Today I will be talking to you about these two cards, Black Horn of Heaven and Starlight Road. One is cheap as chips, the other not so much. So, Black Horn of Heaven, its effect states, if we get it to focus, negate the special summon of one of your opponent's monsters and destroy it. Now, that is only for initial special summons like Chaos Sorcerer and Bloodluster Soldier. Gores, Clark Bulb, Cyber Dragon, and including Exceeds the Synchros. Now, this can be classed as your third Solemn Warning. It's a nice little random card to throw in decks. I've been running it for a while. Um, it's now in my side deck. It used to be in my main deck. And it has served me very well. Being a counter tracker is the highest link on a chain. E.g. Uh, the only thing that I can get around Blackhorn is a Solemn Judgment, Dark Bribe or Seven Tools. Or Counter Counter. But I don't think anyone's going to run Counter Counter. So... Black Horn of Heaven is technically a mini Solemn Warning. Um, it's Thunder King in truck card form. So, yeah. Pretty good. Rather expensive to get hold of, but if you can get hold of one, it's definitely worth the money. I'll tell you that for nothing. Now, over to Starlight Road. Uh, some people run this, some people don't. It stops such cards as Dark Hole, Trudge Tribute, Heavy Storm, and Mirror Force. Now, you should all be very aware of this card's effect, because it reads as such. Activate when an effect is activated that would destroy two or more cards you control. Negate the effect and destroy that card. Then, you can. It is optional. You do not have to. You can special summon one Stardust Dragon from your extra deck. Notable ruling about this card. The Stardust Dragon brought out via its effect cannot be revived from the graveyard by any means, shape or form if it is destroyed by battle or whether it uses its own effect and it cannot resurrect itself. Because the card has not been appropriately synchro summoned, you cannot revive it. Apparently not even with its own effect. Bit disheartening, yes or no. And we should have some call with some guys. So, let us join the call. Hey guys. You are on, you are live on Tech for Talk Tuesday. Are we? Yes. Oh, are you filming it now? Yes, I realise it's a bit late. <laughs> Hi YouTube. But yes, I'm talking about the cards Black Horn of Heaven and Starlight Road. Oh, they're brilliant cards. <laughs> I've just explained the ruling about the Stardust Dragon um, special summoned by Starlight Road that it cannot revive itself either under its own effect and by the likes of Monster Reborn, etc. So, guys... Your opinions on the cards Stardust, uh, Starlight Road and Black Horn of Heaven? I've got to voice my opinion since we've accidentally made ourselves guest stars. Uh, Starlight Road is good, but I find it a bit situational at the moment because the main uh, cards that are destroyed two or more at the moment are Dark Hole and Heavy Storm and I'm not sure it's worth it just to stop two cards, but that's just my opinion. Well, Black Horn of Heaven, amazing. <laughs> Why do you think it's amazing, Richie? Uh, because it stops a lot of annoying synchros and annoying contact fusions. No names mentioned. Ah, oh, yes, I've got to mention that it can stop the. The uh, contact fusion of Fagulator Beasts. 
Chris, what is your opinion on Starlight Road and Black Horn of Heaven? Uh, Starlight Road, um, um, it's an alright card, but I personally don't use it. But that's that's just me. It's it's alright, but like like um the Patrician just said, it it can be a little bit situational. So you're and saying, so what does Black Horn of Heaven do again? So you're saying that Starlight Road is down to personal preference. It's what? Down to personal preference. Sounds better, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and Black Horn, uh, it is a counter trap and it negates the special summon one of the opponent's monsters, but it can only negate initial special summons, e.g., Cyber Dragon, <coughs> BLS, Chaos Sorcerer, Gores, Synchro Summons, Exceed Summons. It can't negate things like Monster Reborn. So, opinion on that card, Chris? That sounds alright, actually. I mean, I've never tried it myself, but... It's a bugger to get hold of. I bet it is. It came out of uh, Cybernetic Revolution. I do believe. Oh, that one. Yes, yes. I'm, yeah, I know which one it is. No, yeah. sorry. I'm wrong. It comes out of Cyberdark Impact. Yeah, but I, I do know which one you mean now, yeah. Yeah. Quite an old school card, but not as old right, school so as the original old, yeah, Horn of Heaven. Exactly, um, new. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Um, I was explaining that Starlet Road, and I've given four very good examples of what it can stop. It stops Dark Hole, Torrential Tribute, Heavy Storm, and Mirror Force. Four cards that are most commonly used and most commonly classed as staples in every deck. So, in my personal opinion, and in preference, I like to have the added protection, because I can also bring out Stardust Dragon, which is an extra beta. And a little bit of extra protection, even though it can't come back, I still like the extra added summon. That's fair enough. I mean, it's, it's all personal practice, really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I completely forgot about Mirror Force. Um, but then again, not a lot of people are playing it at the moment. No, and I do not understand why, but that is a video for another day. Okay. <laughs> I've been Neon Exus, guys. That has been the Dark Magician and Chris Anime Guy. Be sure to check out their channels. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe on all of our channels. We should Please help <laughs> me get to a thousand subs. <laughs> we shall catch you all next time. This is Neonexus, signing out. Peace. Bye -bye. See you later.